Kevin De Bruyne. Six years he's been at Man City. What a player. How good a, how good oh, a player is he? Fantastic to watch. He really is. His awareness and he always seems to make the right decisions, doesn't he? And, and that, that shows you how good you are. He's, uh, he's one of those players as well that can play anywhere. They played him as a false number nine as well last mm. season. Um, it must be a joy to play with him as well because he's just got such a... A wand as well. Yeah. He, he can pick out a pass, you know, 30, 40, 50 yards. And we've um, had some great midfielders, haven't we? Well, I was going to ask, the, 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 the two, the tough that, one. The mean, two that you play with are who? Vieira's obviously on that Vieira list. Vieira was excellent. What, um, what did he have? What attributes did Vieira have that well, made him special? I, I remember when he made his debut at Highbury, and uh, I come off, to be fair, I got injured, I come off, he come on, and he was brilliant, this young kid. You know, he, he was a little bit gangly, wasn't he? He's quite tall, six foot three, six foot four. But he's, he, again, he always wanted the ball. He was very... You asked Martin Keown and uh, Tony Adams at the time, give me the ball. And if he had two or three players around him. He seemed to get himself out of uh, little incidents on the pitch. And he was he was just... He probably had everything. He probably didn't score loads of goals. He, he scored some cracking goals, by the way, Patrick. But he was just that enforcer in that midfield area, which was very important for the team. You always, you always look at the spine of the team. So you've got to have the diet down the spine. It was very, very strong. I mean, we had Dennis Bergkamp, we had Ian White but, uh, but when uh, Wenger first turned up. Then obviously Thierry comes into the team as well. But that spine of the team was so important. Adams, Keown, Boldy at the time. And you, you'd put Vieira in the conversation. Is Kevin De Bruyne a world class? Well, he's a different sort of player to um, Patrick Vieira. I mean, he's, he's passing ability. I'm oh, definitely world class. I would say, yeah. Def- yeah. I, 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 I'm sure that every single, single Manchester City uh, supporter would would love to watch him every single week and you know what he again his awareness his, his, his passing ability he scores goals as well some great his goals. crossing is incredible crossing is fantastic if you, if, you, if you had a top striker up there you know how many chances would you get mm. I'm, I'm just thinking if Harry Kane did go to, well, didn't to Man City didn't he say that Kane that he'd want to play one day with De Bruyne well, if, he, if he did go to Man City imagine how many opportunities he would uh, mm. get in front of the goal um, and I'm sure he would score a bag full of goals whoever's, whoever's going to be striker for him I know they haven't got striker at the moment but if they do get Haaland I'm sure that he would really benefit it's a little bit like Arsenal because Dennis Burkamp was our player who, who could set you know if you, ask, if, if you cast him right and Thierry Henry how, how, why did you score so many goals that would probably say to Dennis Burkamp was a little yeah. bit a big big factor in why we did score goals because again Dennis was similar to De Bruyne but, but you know but De Bruyne has been superb but over the years, I mean, I've got a lead. Keane, Roy Keane was a great player, wasn't he? For, He's going to get Manchester my vote, United. isn't he? Yeah. Paul D- different Scholes. kind of player, by yeah. the way. Really, I always look at that Manchester United midfield at that time, and you've got Giggs on the left, you've got Beckham on the right, you've got Scholes and Keane, but Keane was the one who organised everybody. Got people Orchestrated. Into the, got people into the right areas when you had to, when you had to defend as, as a team. Then you then you go a little bit further on, Gerrard, what a player he was. It was sort of a player that... Remind me a lot of Brian Robson, Gerard. Yeah, he, he could tackle, that, he could get, you know, box to box. Although Brian Robson did win the Premier League. Um, <laughs> what a player he was, I mean. Gerard, Brian, phenomenal. I, I always go by Brian Robson, <coughs> Robson as well. I'm talking about Robson. Gerard was sensational. Goals he scored. and He's Kevin you know, De Bruyne the best midfielder in the Premier League? Um, I would probably say at the moment he probably is. Well, you can no, talk, ever you, to you grace could, it? Uh, it's about big opinions. I, I would probably... I, would, I like Gerard. I think Gerard for me was an all round Lampard. Top. I, I, you put Lampard in it. Look, we haven't even mentioned Gaza. What a midfielder he was. Yeah, you know, he was he was a top quality, different sort of player again. You know, dribbling and runs at you, and obviously. Uh, but I, I think Gerard for me. All, I always look at an all round midfielder. I mean, Lampard was brilliant at scoring goals, obviously. Um, and to get the uh, Chelsea record, all time Chelsea record goal scoring from a midfielder. Is an amazing achievement for Frank. So, mm. and do you know what it was? What I liked about Frank, he's, you know, he got a bit of stick for West Ham and whatever when he left. But his work rate and his Harry Harry improved his game. It's not it's not pure luck. Yeah, he he, he trained hard every day. Harry, Harry Redknapp told me he was always on that training field, you know, practicing, scoring goals, and 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 that's why he scored so many goals in his career. Mm. Uh, who else is in that conversation? Because it's it's an impossible question to answer. Oh, yeah, it? again, you, you, a lot of obviously supporters will go with the, the players who play for their clubs. Skulls, you got to put Skulls was a great player. Yeah, fantastic. you played against Skulls. Played against Skulls. What was he like to play against Skulls? Oh, he was brilliant. He could, again, you could say his tackling wasn't the best at times. You know, he, he did get quite a few bookings and a bit late tackle. But I liked his, you know, way he pinged the ball around as well. well a little bit like De Bruyne, you know, the, his passing ability, Paul Scholes. He scored some vital goals. He's, he's a player that what got you ten to twelve goals a season. Didn't yeah, he, I remember. Field. I remember when City signed. It's a different Boyle. sort of era, isn't it? Because yeah. we always play four four two. Yeah, 
It's and now a it's game. a different game now. 4-2-3-1. You have the holding midfielder. You've got the attacking midfielder. You can go back to people like Michael what he did for Chelsea. Yeah. Brilliant player in midfield. A totally different role, yeah. yeah 55 role. million they paid for uh, Kevin De Bruyne. Seems Bargain. Like, I remember when, at the time people were telling their nose up saying it's absolute madness. Well, that, that was a bargain. I think it was Paul what, Mercer. What, was it Paul Mercer? What he's, achieved, what he's achieved in his, his time at Man City is, is an absolute yeah. bargain. Absolute uh, Ian bargain. is a Man United fan. Wants his say on who is the best Premier League midfielder of all time. But of course, there is no right or wrong answer. You can just have your say. 08717 Ian, hello. Hi, Andy. Hi, Ray. How you doing, Ian? Ian, what's the most you pay for a mop? At, at the moment, it's three and a half grand. <laughs> Two quid from um, Poundland or whatever, I think. <laughs> Two quid from Poundland? I think you're being overcharged. Yeah, that's got, that's got two. Yeah, I think we'll buy one, get one free. <laughs> yeah, but that's still £2 a mop, though, isn't it? Uh, no, it's two for £2. Yeah. Oh, two for £2. OK, fine. Yeah. Go on, then, Ian. Bargain. I'm going with McCarrick. Um, he was totally unselfish from the start of his career to end. I mean, when he were a teenager, he moved to, to London hmm. um, to, to get better as a player. And when he ended his career at United, he, he was just selfless. I mean, look at that 2008 Champions League team. Hmm. I mean, he enabled Ferguson to be able to get uh, Ronaldo, Rooney and Tevez into that team. And, I mean, that's devastating, but you can't have that without that balance. I mean, do you think he's underrated, Ian? I do. He, he never played for his country anywhere near. I've, I've... Not by me. Not no, by no, me. no, but I've, football I've... fans. Um, yeah, because he never really did it for England, did he? He never really got a chance, I would say. But... I mean, um... I'm Googling now. I wouldn't say underrated. I think oh, everybody I rated him. I, oh, yeah. I certainly rated Michael Carrick. He was a, a really good professional. Um, How many England caps did he get? Um, Go what would he have got? Should have, uh, should have got about 80 or 90. I reckon he got about 30. 34, that's disgusting. Emily? Emily? 34. That was a good bet, good guess. That's disgusting. Mm. Michael Carrick, he should have got three times that. Very, very efficient player, wasn't he? You know, always always good with a ball, never give it away. Fantastic yeah, player. Yeah, he was a very good player. You pay 100 million at least for a Michael Carrick nowadays. And he's good, he was a good lad as well. A nice, top, nice top fella for the, for the dressing room area. There you go. So there's your question. Uh, we're only doing it for 10 minutes, then we move on. We've got so much to cram into the last hour. Kevin De Bruyne signed for Man City on this day in 2015. Is he the best Premier League player of all time? I say no. What do you say? And if you say no as well, who is? 08717 It's Drive on Talk Sport. With me, Andy Goldstein and Ray Parler and WeBuyAndyCar.com. Get a free online quote in another 60 seconds. Enter your reg number now. 